Hey folks, Steve Alcorn here with you once again. This is a little different tonight because I'm just going to do a what sold video, but I don't want to edit anything. So we're just going to go ahead and play my intro now. This is Sundays with Steve. So we're just going to get right into it. I think that's a little bit different way to do it, but we're going to go ahead and uh, show you what sold on eBay. And this is from the last couple of weeks, I would guess. For some reason that is already zoomed in. So this is Ink Toner. I don't like that picture. I'll get the first picture. This is Ink Toner. This was, we paid $3 a piece for these. So one, two, three, four, three times five, $15 right here. Um, these were at a I want to say it was a Volunteers of America in Columbus. And if I'm looking a little bit off to the side, it's because the camera is there and my screen is over here. So I apologize for that. So anyway, we paid $15 for these. We got 21 altogether. Uh, this was the only complete set of this size. So uh, we sold it as a complete set. And it sold within, I don't know, a couple hours of listing for $199.99. Free shipping. And it cost well under $20 to ship. I think this one went fairly close. This is a tiny little backpack made for AirPods. Paid 50 cents for these at the bin store. Uh, got a bunch of them. Only sold one so far. You can see I've got 14 more to sell. So hopefully they sell. I don't know. They were 50 cents. I thought I'd give it a try. I guess you put your AirPod case down in there and it keeps it really nice. It's got a chain and a carabiner. This, I think I've talked about these before. This is a Lysol no-touch uh, soap dispenser. Uh, sell these quite often, under $5 into this one. I think $3.89 or something from a Goodwill in Columbus. Uh, or a Ohio Thrift, I think this one came from in Columbus. It was under $4. We sold this one for $34.99. Discontinued item. People really love this item. Uh don't know why, but they do. It's battery operated. Yep, just a regular controller. Now there's a bunch of magna boxes that look very similar to this that are worth a few dollars. This one is the NA387. Uh, this one goes, I believe, to a TV converter box. That's all it is. But I paid 99 cents again at a good a goodwill we went to on our Columbus trip. So I always buy them if they're cheap. This is, uh, what's his name? Dobie, Dobby, Dobie. I don't know. Oh, super cute is the word, is the name of the brand. So it's not a run on word there. Uh, he was $2 at the bin store, uh, crazy bins, I believe. And nobody wanted him because he was out of his box. So I picked him up. It wasn't worth a ton, but I gave him a new home. $11.99 shipped. I made a couple bucks on it, but whatever. He was under, actually under four ounces of ship, I believe. So, stepped outside of my comfort zone a little bit and picked up a fax machine. This is a brother, what is it, a fax-575. Uh, everything seemed to work okay. Uh, I paid $8.99 for this at a, it was an Ohio thrift. And uh, we got $79.99 shipped. And it sold really, really quick. This is another 50 cent item from the bin, the uh, bin oasis uh, in Kinsman, Ohio. Uh, nobody seemed to know what it was, so I thought I'd take a chance on it, brought it home. It was worth $17.99 and I sold it. It's some sort of interface uh, scan, OBD scanner tool for BMW cars. It's so generic that it came with a generic disc, but it did have the stuff on there because I did, uh, I did look that up. Uh, I stuck it in my computer and saw all the files were in there, so it should work. $17.99 from 50 cents. I love 50 cent day. I think this also came on a 50 cent day. This is Spectra Duckbill Valve Replacement Set. $9.49. I mean, you paid 50 cents. They were under four ounces to send, so it'd be first class, really cheap. <clears throat> and we got them out. So I parted out a Pokemon Monopoly because it was missing a good portion of the pieces. And this is one of the things that wasn't missing. This is $9.99 free shipping for the replacement cards, basically. The uh, trainer, professor, property cards. 
Uh, so the trainer, uh, this is the trainer. This is the, uh, we'll, we'll get it up over here. Let me, let me turn my little mouse thingy jig on so we can do this better. I forgot where I, oh, there it is. Pro mouse, there we go. So these right here are the uh, professor cards. These are the trainer cards, and these ones are the property cards, basically. So good little sale for that. Okay, so my last video talked about this machine, Sim Simplicity Bias Tape Maker. The machine itself, I didn't have all the parts for, so I decided to part it out. And this one went, this piece here is just a cover for the hot part, $34.99. If you find those bias tape makers, the Simplicity brand, they are money. Money. This is uh, from $6 Day at the uh, uh, bin store. This is an A-Box garment steamer. A-Box seems like a very generic name, but that's what it said. And it sold for $32.99 shipped. This is the other part of that bias tape maker that I uh, sold. This is the base part. So missing all the pieces. There's nothing with it. Uh, the plate cover was taken off. The little thing here was taken off. And, uh, of course, the tools out of there are taken off. So we sold that one for 50 shipped. So we're making pretty good money on that. It was an $8.99 buy, so we've already crushed it. So this one yesterday. Uh, found it up in my closet upstairs, so I figured, what the heck. Uh, I don't know why it was up there, so I said, well, we'll test her out, see if she works. And it did. And it's the WM-FS220. It was missing the uh, wrist strap and the belt clip, but somebody still gave $29.99 for it. Worked great. Here's some more of that toner that we sold. You can see that this one went for $199 as well. Uh, we have two more of these available, so uh, yeah. <laughs> great buy. Like I said, we had $75 total into the whole thing. And if you notice, I'll show you here where it says front office right there. Eh, I might have put those stickers on there because that's covering up the price. They wrote in a, on this with Sharpie or crayon or something. And so I needed to cover up the price. Uh, so that's what I did. I made it look like it came from an office. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do do what you got to do. But uh, So we've made $400 minus our $75 investment minus shipping. So we're, we're in the $300 range anyway <clears throat> with these. This is an old balsa wood, um, get you a bigger picture. Fokker Dash D8 made by Sterling Models. Wasn't 100% there, it was missing the wheels, but this is unpunched here. All the balsa wood that was in there is unpunched. Uh, the stickers were never used, uh, so it was pretty good little find. I did find this on our first trip to Columbus. Now you can see all the little accessories there. And I think I paid $7 for it at a thrift store. So it was a pretty good little deal there. And uh, I took a best offer on this one of 40 bucks. So she went out the door. So this came from the bin store again on $6 day. Uh, it's a Remington Smooth and Silky. It's a rechargeable. Uh, the package was ripped to heck. I taped it up so it looks a lot better than it was. Uh, and I mentioned that in the comments. You can see all the tape on there. Uh, but somebody still gave me 30 bucks for it. So it's pretty good. Uh, it is brand new. I mean, it was never used, but the box just was, I don't know what happened to it, but it, it was torn pretty good. But everything worked inside. I did check it to make sure everything was good. And uh, somebody gave me $29. That's 99 cents. Pretty good. Okay, so these were from the Amish store, uh, 50 cents a piece. So I got $2 into this, and we sell them for $13.99. And you can see I've sold five of them so far. So that's not a bad deal. I've actually got a couple on this uh, week's uh, sales here, but I didn't put it on the video because that would bore the heck out of you. Uh, just a TI-86, not a high-end calculator, but I paid $1.99 for it at an th independent thrift store when we were on our Columbus trip. I had gone in there before and got two, I uh, two TI-83s out of there, pluses. Uh, so I, I looked again, and sure enough, there was another TI calculator. Not the greatest model, but uh, still good. And this one did have some issues, so I sold it pretty cheap. It had that line, uh, which I did make sure to mention and did take a picture of. So somebody still took it. It didn't really affect anything once the contrast was turned down. These were 
and 89 cents at an Ohio thrift. Uh, in Ohio, I bought two of these, so you can see there's one more. Uh, same exact thing. They both were in the same exact condition, so I put them on the same exact listing. Sold one right away. Um, it's a Medalla breast pump. Just the motor, nothing else. Uh, when you do sell these, make sure you uh, thoroughly clean them with uh, isopropyl uh, so that it disinfects them uh, because that is required by eBay. I had two of these, Conquer Live and Reloaded for the Xbox. Uh, disc only. Both of them were disc only. I got them at separate places, but I, I don't know. I, I listed them at the same time, so I must have got them close together. Uh, just the disc, $27.98. So I sold two of those. So this guy is a phone holder. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if there's a picture of what he does there. You can see there right down there. All he does is hold a phone. That's it. Or a controller, joystick, or a, a controller for an Xbox or something. But uh, that's what he was. Uh, he came out of the... Sorry about that. He came out of the uh, bin store again for six bucks. And uh, he's going overseas somewhere. So somebody overseas wanted him. He was missing some pieces too, and I mentioned that in the thing, so hopefully everything is good. Uh, these were a dollar at uh, Walmart last last uh, spring, and I don't know why it doesn't. There we go, dollar at Walmart last spring. So we sell them cheap, just to get rid of them. Again, another six dollar buy. Uh, this is a Backpod Premium Treatment. It's a neck thing, I guess. Seventy dollars for a six dollar buy out of the bins. Pretty decent little uh, turnover there. I don't know why I only had three pictures, but I guess I did. Uh, still sold. Again, another $6 buy out of the bin store. Uh, this is a counterfeit flash test detector. It was brand new sealed. You can see the inside is all sealed in there. And what it does, I'm not exactly 100% sure, but it says it can test the ink and the watermark and the UV test. UV test strip, so, or strip test. Uh, so whatever, I mean, somebody can check money and make sure it's real, I guess. I think this is the last one I've got. Uh, four six packs of McCorm or six, 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 wow. Six packs of Masala, <laughs> chicken Masala. I paid a dollar a piece for these when I was in North Carolina, a tiny little uh, discount grocery store, salvage grocery store, and uh, they were still on date. So uh, I was glad to get rid of them before they went out of date, which is pretty soon. Uh, another 50 cent day find at the uh, bin store. This is a Fitbit Charge 3. It's an actual Fitbit uh, brand. And so this one sold pretty quickly for $18.99 plus $3.75 shipping. I don't always charge shipping, but I like sometimes to make the price seem a little bit lower. So I will charge it on some of the things like this where it, it makes it look a little bit more competitive. This was $3 at a... I want to say this was at a... Um, Volunteers of America when we were in Columbus sold for twenty nine ninety nine. It was still in it was still in date when I listed it, but just expired. So, or no, it wasn't in date. It had just expired when I listed it, but it sold super quick anyway. So here's the thing: <laughs> I love finding these. These these are extremely extremely hard to find in the wild. Uh, this is only the fourth one I've I think I've found in four or five years now. Uh, five years, I think I've been full time. So, uh, but anyway, this is Talking uh, Bingo by Excalibur. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, everything was there. The model was 450. There's not 450 markers. I was just looking at the title and confusing myself. Uh, so, this one had all the uh, cardboard court cards still with it. There were some paper cards. A couple had been torn off. The, the, Game itself was in immaculate condition. Doesn't look like it was really ever played. All the chips were there. The box was a little rough, but uh, I did glue it back together, and it, it uh, looked a lot better than it did when I picked it up. I posted this one on Instagram, but uh, this is a bolo for sure. If you can find one of these, I paid what two dollars maybe, uh, and they maybe three, and they sell for around eighty nine ninety nine or more. If if you find a new sealed one, it, it goes for a lot more. So keep an eye out. Pretty cool find. I love finding them. These are BTS Map of the Soul. You've seen them before. I have now sold 32 of these. So there are four different versions of the same album. Uh, so this is a variation listing. Variation listing is working really well for me. And also the, uh, the uh, volume discount that I put on it over here 
uh, works really well. So we've made about six or seven hundred dollars off of these already. We paid six bucks a piece for them. So uh, we did invest quite a bit of money up front, but they're selling pretty well. We sell three or four or five a week or more, sometimes three or four to one person. They want all four versions. They have one version. They want three different versions, two different, whatever. We sell a lot of these and uh, it was a great pickup and we're well into the profit on them now. This was a $2 bin store find when I was in North Carolina at the uh, bin five, I think they're called down there. Uh, Bought a bunch of these, four of them to be exact. I've already sold four, uh, six of them to be exact. I've sold four, got two left. Uh, pretty cool. This was an Amish store find for, I want to say these were 50 cents a piece, 49 cents a piece. Uh, I've sold uh, four of these now. So still got nine left. And uh, the one lady left me really, really good feedback on this. So she bought two, I believe. She was very happy. Little tiny Sony. Sony sells no matter what it is for the most part. Uh, this is the SRF-26, $15, but uh, I've got about 50 cents into it. So it's it's something that you may not think would have any value at all, but it does. And the belt clip was still there. It worked really well. Everything was good on it. Uh, I always like to show the battery compartment, no corrosion. And finally, this guy. Now, I put this guy in there. He did sell. I can't find him anywhere, so I had to cancel an order. And I wanted to make sure that I don't always show the glowing reviews and all the good sales and all the wonderful stuff. I try to show everything. And uh, this is one of those things that I remember buying it. I remember listing it. I don't remember where it's at. And I have a feeling it was sold before and somehow got relisted. Uh, I know there are some glitches with eBay sometimes on the relist. And I think this may have been one of those uh, because it says last it updated December 8, 2020. And um, I did not list this on December 8, 2020. This was listed early in the summer. So I'm wondering, uh, we can go view all revisions and see. Payment, terms, actual shipping, description. So October 31st, it says I listed it, but I don't recall if that's correct either. But uh, either way, December 8th, for some reason, something changed and uh, relisted this thing, it looks like. And uh, yeah, so I had to eat it. I had to take a hit on my uh, take a hit on my uh, account, but it's okay. I sell enough stuff to, uh, to absorb that sort of thing once in a while. It's sad that I lost out $15. I didn't really. I mean, I, I think I have $2 into it. So I really only lost $2 plus a strike on my account. So yeah. Uh, we're working on an inventory system. We will get there. But these are actually pretty good. This is one of the lower end ones. This is Jim Holt Stampers Anonymous. I remember where I got $2 into this. This came from a Barnes & Noble clearance sale quite a while ago. So that's I believe that's where it came from anyway. Uh, so they're just clear little stampy things. I guess you put ink on them and stamp them to things. But that doesn't look right because um, it would be backwards, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be backwards. Uh, that's it for me. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the uh, like and subscribe button. Uh, share this if you think it'll help somebody else. Thanks for watching. Sweetwater out.